So let's look at this the results of this wonderful new survey that a survey it's got to be true there may be a silver lining amid the difficulties of COVID-19 a new survey reveals it's brought dads closer to their children and it seems more dads are promising to keep up the changes Pauline Chen has more really so Monday to Friday I would go to work Man who sued is an engineer and used to spend more time an engineer his kids Anuva age wow he's having it really rough money wise activities rather than doing them with the kids I like doing swimming um, rollerblading and biking. COVID-19 has meant he's now there to teach Arnav how to ride a bike, sometimes two or three times a day. It has made him learn the bike a little bit faster and at the same time um, help to create that special bond. And I think that's what I've loved. A new the pandemic is so great. Shows 40% of dads say the pandemic lockdown has had a positive effect on their role as fathers. 60% felt closer to their kids and 49% say they want to stay more engaged in the future. For the Bruce family, sports has been the main activity for the five boys and dads. We actually like, get to talk more. We get to like, um, yeah, like play outside. The quarantine kind of is more. bringing the family together. Also being able to teach 17-year-old Jacob how to use the barbecue. And each child has been taking charge of one meal a week. 64% of them saying that they're eating meals together with their family and children more often, and also 50% preparing meals more often. Nick Black of Intention Consulting, which conducted the survey, says that's been linked to benefits for the kids. Better grades in school, they tend to have better nutritional profiles, and they also tend to have good, good impact on their mental health. The Bruce what? Things may change when work and school they had a good impact on their mental health. And also 50% preparing meals more often. Nick Black of Intentions Consulting, which conducted the survey, says that's been linked to benefits for the kids. Better grades in school, they tend to have better nutritional profiles, and they also tend to have good good impact on their mental health. Brad Bruce admits things may change when work and school return, but now that they've had a taste of. The quarantine had a good impact on their mental health. <laughs> the survey says so. <laughs> oh my god. And they're eating better and getting better grades. Of course the people that are showing right here are like families that live in like fucking... You see where they're living? <laughs> they're having it really rough money-wise. It's, it's really hard. <laughs> I guess you got to see it with a glass half full. I mean, it's bringing the family together. Let's hear about all the suicides that have... I'm going to try to find some articles and shit. Those ones, they don't pass on the television. Or all those murders, the spouse murders, right? The, how you call it? Domestic violence murders that's happened since COVID. Huh? <laughs> I would like remember it. Hey, the quarantine is great for the family. It's keeping them together. Uh, oh yeah, and to all those that are like getting like you're getting sick of the quarantine. Guess what? You're gonna be in quarantine for at least another year or two. That's the rest. It's actually gonna be only as as long as they can still manage to get anyone in quarantine. They're going to let you out. Then you're going to come right back in. Enjoy it. This fall, this fall you're going back in. And it's going to be for a while. You think he, you, th you thought it was long this time? <laughs> oh, man. Nah. Why do you think all these commercials on YouTube, online, it's all about online, how to order stuff online, how to take classes from your home, how to make money for, from your home, how to, the, the commercials where it's, uh, oh, you can get three meals, you don't have to order takeout food, you can get three meals a day, uh, uh, and it's a, a healthy food delivered to your, I already made a video about that. Three meals a day delivered to your house, like like a hatchet in jail cell. Oh yeah, and I was watching a Trump, the Trump rally. They're, they don't ever lie to you. That's the thing that, that really 
gets to me is that they don't ever lie to you. Well, they do, but they'll tell you the truth at the same time. It's talking about Seattle and that Chaz, the free police zones. That, and what was he saying? He was saying, uh, oh, well, I, I, I asked the governor, the governor of uh, Seattle. He, he's a left wing. He's a left wing governor. Uh, I asked him if he wanted us to send the National Guard and uh, he, he, he said no. And uh, I think we're just going to let that, let it happen and see how it's going to work out over there. Do you think that that governor and his fucking left wing shit, do you think that he's able to say no to Trump? Do you? Do you believe it? Do you believe it that, that, <laughs> well, if somebody up the ladder is on a different side and he wants to do the governor, the, the president cannot tell any governor what to do. No way. Come on, this is democracy. Oh my God. They're gonna let this shit, Chaz shit keep going. Each side is gonna interpret it and film it their own way. They're gonna stage some bullshit in, in the Chaz. I don't even know what the fuck it stands for. Sounds stupid to me anyway. And just like I posted, well, one side's gonna make it seem like it's just hell on earth because they're living without America. And eventually, they're gonna stage a whole bunch of shit or some violence that's going on in Chaz. There's probably gonna be mass violence, mass rapes, mass uh, crazy stuff going on. They're gonna make it seem like it's complete hell on earth over there without, without the garden. They want it to have nothing to do with cops? Okay. This is all their plan, okay? This is their plan. And then they're going to run in there with the National Guard, shut that whole shit down, break it all down. They're going to let it last for a little while, then they're going to send the National Guard. And then the people that were totally supporting that, that Chaz, whatever, I feel stupid saying a Chaz. Sounds like a, the name of a fucking surfer dude with blonde, long blonde hair on a fucking beach. Anyways. They're going to send in the National Guard. The people on the Chaz side are going to say, we were just completely li living in peace and look what they did. So all the people that were supporting them are going to get fucking super outraged. They're going to get outraged out of their minds. They're going to want to make more Chazes everywhere around the fucking United States. And the people, on, uh, they're, they're, they're going to attack people on the right. And all you fucking... I gotta stop insulting people. Oh, what else? Yeah. What else? I, I went outside because I spent most of my day cooped up in the house reading the Bible on the internet. And I, I went to, to the park, you know, sat down. And I saw, I envy people that don't get it. I envy you. I wish I was you, in all honesty. I wish I could be them. Because if they knew what was happening... They wouldn't be, maybe, I don't know. I'm not built strong like that. I have a hard time just, just uh, enjoying and having fun. When I know that, I've always been like that. I've, I've always anticipated it and I worry too much. I wish I was them, because they're oblivious. Ignorance is bliss. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, that's it.